All right, guys, so you're in the market for a used true cut. Today, I'm going to share with you my five tips when you're shopping around so you can get the best one in your area. But first, I need to show you this very important clip, so stay tuned. What a beautiful dog this is. Thank you for bringing him. Ooh, that's not a dog, that's a horse. Oh, it is? <laughs> yes, that's a Whoa. horse. <laughs> Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, I don't care who you are. And speaking of horses, that brings me to tip number one, which is the engine. The first thing I'm looking for in a used unit is that it's got this Honda engine here. Uh, a lot of these come with the Briggs motors, and not that those are bad motors, I just prefer the Honda. Growing up, I had a lot of the Briggs motors on go-karts, and all I'm saying is they spent more time on jack stands than any place else. All right, guys, so tip number two is gonna be about the tires. These tires are not cheap, and they are very difficult to replace. So a lot of these older units are going to have very bald tires, and not that that's a problem, but the bald tires are better for the flat lawns. If you have any type of hills or terrain, you want to go ahead and make sure you've got some good tread left. So tip number three, and probably the most important tip, is the condition of the reel and the bed knife. Um, you may want to take a piece of paper with you when you do this and you're looking. So make sure that the reel can spin freely. Look at the overall condition. While it doesn't have to be perfectly sharp, um, it is something you want to look at. The other thing I check is the condition of the bed knife. You want to make sure there's no major dings and that you don't want to be replacing that right out of the gate. Um, I go ahead and do a paper cut test on site, so I just tilt the machine back and you want to go ahead and see if it's cutting paper, see if it's ready to go. Uh, if it cannot do that, it's not going to give you the quality of cut you're looking for and you're going to have to get it serviced right out of the gate. That sharpening can be anywhere from $150 up depending where you live, so keep that in mind when you're buying it. So tip number four I want to mention is the condition of the clutches on the True Cut. It has two independent clutches. You've got the real clutch and you have a drive clutch. So these sometimes can be bad. Um, a lot of times they just need to be adjusted, but it is something you may want to check on site. These are uh, adjustable with your thumb, so a lot of people are going to feather the drive on the real clutch. So if you uh, have the chance to crank it and test it out, make sure that this is not slipping and uh, that it engages smoothly. The same thing with the real clutch. You don't want to have to drop kick the real clutch to get it to engage. It should just engage with the push of your thumb here. So that's one thing on this unit I wish I had checked before. Um, I did have to get them adjusted right out of the gate, but it seems to be fine now. But again, just another tip when you're looking at a used unit. So the fifth and final tip, and this should probably go without saying, I look for units and pictures that are free of rust. Some guys leave these things outside. Um, I look for units that are been garage kept like this one. The, you can get a good idea of the age of the machine by looking at the chain guard cover. Now here I have the chain guard cover off, but this, this uh, shape and this rigid cover here is the newer models. The earlier models have a very thin uh, chain guard cover and I'll link a couple of pictures uh, of the older models and nothing wrong with those either if they've been taken care of, but you can get a good idea of the age just by looking at the chain guard cover. Um, and lastly, you may want to bring a buddy help you load these things. Some of them are very heavy, especially on the 27. That thing weighs more than my ex-wife did. So I hope you guys uh, find these tips helpful when you're shopping around for a used true cut. And be sure to smash that subscribe button on your way out. I'll see you guys in the next one.